I'm a self-aware lady, okay? I know I have a long face, a big forehead, and a very strong jaw. Okay. What, is, what is that? I don't, I don't even know where that came from. But one time I was getting sassy with my husband, and he was like, you know what? Go back to Easter Island. Dang. Easter Island. Easter Island is crazy. I can't unsee it. Easter Island. Silence from me because humbled. He wasn't wrong. And I'm never going to forget this. It It's going to live in my head rent free until I die. I want my Easter. headstone to be an Easter Island statue. Easter Island is crazy. A full size one, not a mini one. I want a big one. And accurate. I didn't date you for your money. I fell in love with your heart. Well, then just sign the prenup and let this love story begin. Love stories don't begin with prenups. This one does. Women don't need men for money. Oh. Statistics show single women own more houses than single men. Yeah, from divorce. Woo! I'll sign that. I'm on a first date this weekend, and I'm so mortified by what this man said to me <laughs> that I've considered going into hiding. But my friends are like, mm, you should probably tell TikTok instead. So... I went to go play mini golf with this guy okay. and afterwards we had a drink at a bar. So we were getting kind of cozy and he was all up in my face as we were like sipping our drinks. And he was like, oh, your lashes are nice. Are those extensions? I'm like, no, they're strip lashes. He was like, oh, if you thought that was weird. He's like, I know all about that. I went to cosmetology school for like a year. I was like, oh yeah. He's like, yeah, I did hair. You in trouble now. <laughs> for like a year or so. And here's where I felt. I was like, hmm. What, do, what would you do to my hair? And I'm thinking he's gonna respond with like a certain cut or like a dye job immediately without hesitation. He didn't even give me a once over like, hmm, like pretending to think immediately he blurts out deep conditioning. What would you do to my hair? <laughs> deep conditioning. And y'all, did he lie? Man. Did he fly? <laughs> I was so it don't look like it mortified. I just wanted to slide under that table and not come out. <laughs> I was I just wanted him to go to his car. Um, I'm like, I should call him because I don't think I could beat that level of honesty. No, you can't. Thank you for being self-aware, because most women would take this. That's a red flag. How could he talk to me like that? Man's actually trying to help you out because would you want to go outside with dry hair, hair that's all over the place? No. Good job, man dated a professional athlete great at what he does there's not a lot of room for emotion to be involved it's either true or it's not true or you're gonna get your neck broken he could date whoever he wanted or sleep with whoever he wanted and we were like arguing about something and i was like well why would you date me if like i'm the person you date if you want like a challenge and nope. he just went why would any man want a challenge in their relationship in that Thank moment you. was like oh my god I, I thought it was like hot to you i thought it was like mm. what guys wanted i thought it was like feisty like i apologize well especially if you're dating somebody that is high performing in any realm mm -hmm. yeah. has goals if you're working that hard in the office yep. you really want to come home and be like right there's that to-do list done i wonder what fires i need to fight when i step through the front doors well. i'm literally in the gym close to getting my face pounded in trying to pound somebody else's face I've got to be aggressive. I've got to be on guard. And now I got to get home and be on guard. Oh, you want to challenge outside the ring too? Come here and, and, and get me in a headlock. No, I just want to rest. These modern women don't really understand that a man, when he says it, he really wants peace. Well, so we've all heard the saying that a beard is like makeup for a man. I'm seeing a lot of this online lately. <laughs> and this is just nonsense because females we're not born with makeup bags <laughs> as part of the birthing process. However, an adult male does come equipped with facial hair, naturally. And it's actually the removal of that facial hair that's unnatural. Okay. This is how we judge what's natural and what's not. And that would be how we would look in the case of a post-apocalyptic event. That would be our natural state. So how a woman would look in the event of a post-apocalyptic disaster, that would be the real her. <laughs> and how a man would look under the same circumstances Pretty much. is the real him. Something like this, or this, or this. Pretty much. Post-apocalyptic men would naturally grow beards, mustaches, and maybe even their hair would get long. So would women online say that Rick from The Walking Dead is sporting a full beat face as opposed to what nature gave him. Ladies, stop reaching. Beards are natural for men yep. and makeup is not natural yep. for women. 
Let's just call it for what it is. Makeup does change our faces. It does. But with that said, we don't have to seek justification for what we do by somehow trying to drag men into this. Exactly. It's just silly. I get the concept that a lot of these women are saying. Because you know you've got the, well, a suit is the same thing as a bikini on a woman. So if a man has a suit, then uh, it's the same thing as a woman have a having a bikini because of the presentation. I get what you're saying, but this is just a coping mechanism to say this is what we want to do. Now, if you get somebody in a post-apocalypse, it's likely if you build up where you're at your shelter, the woman's probably going to find some time <laughs> to create some makeup so they can look good and stuff like that. But no, she's absolutely right. This is what men look like naturally. And they would want to at least get a baseline. If you're going to be wearing makeup in the relationship, at least give me a baseline as to what you look like so I can understand what I'm getting. And I'm not going to wake up afraid that I married a different person the next day. I can't always cheat on you with Shrek's baby sister. Like, I'm offended as some. <laughs> Y'all related? <laughs> Check out these comments. Check out these comments, y'all. Flaming this woman. And you, qu quite honestly, I try not to talk about people's looks. But sometimes when you say silly stuff like this, I've seen a couple of her videos. And when you say stuff like this, this is what you deserve. Here looking like this and got your mouth wide open. Ma'am, shut up and sit down somewhere. Pull those covers over your head. Watch a movie. Eat some popcorn. But stay in the house. So I was at rehearsal last night and I had both my kids with me. It was a hot mess. And one of my homegirls was like, oh, you're such a strong mom. Um, I don't want to be a strong mom. I'm tired. I want to be a well-rested mom. I want when people call my phone, my kids to say, sorry, it's mom's spa day. She is spa mom. I want to be hydrated mom, well-fed mom. Actually got to finish my dinner mom. Mom's at brunch with the girls mom. Mom's on a weekend meditation mom. You know, nobody wants to be strong anymore. We're tired. Oh, and I got to go get my kids because uh, it's the last day of school and the faculty is ready to go. Yep. That's unfortunate. Society continues to do this to our young women at any age, really. You got to be strong or you're so brave. And these women are tired of being strong and brave. Give me somebody who can do this for me day in and day out. Women, unfortunately for them, they know their role, but they they have a hard time doing it because society tells them, no, this is beneath you. This is well, this is what women do. Ah, you know, it's it's minute. It's just busy work. Do what the men do. That's what's more important. And then they'd separate what you actually supposed to be doing. And it stresses you out. But because society is telling you to do it, you continue to do it, even though you're unhappy. That's unfortunate. And I hope a lot of women understand that this is going to lead you down to exhaustion. But that's just my opinion. Until the next video, I'm out. <laughs>